Okay, folks, at the lower right-hand corner here, you can see the central standard time, okay? And basically, I was lucky to get this, but basically, there's something going on. Either it's where they download the pictures, like in Australia, or somewhere in the world, besides, because this is Sechi, so there's worldwide, it's like over in Europe, stuff like that. This could be Germany, uh, wherever that they download this at, okay? There's more than one group for Sechi and everything like that. Now, what you you see already in the screen is the idea that the sun is here, ladies and gentlemen. Okay, the sun is over here behind, not so that they can view and see. You're going to see all the stuff coming up. There's Mercury, but what you're going to see is some wild flipping action. Now, this should not be Venus. More than likely, here. More than likely, what's what you what it is is this is more than likely Venus. Now we know we've seen the comet come in, okay, and do whatever it did. But check this out, and this is pretty much something, pretty much the meatball, and I'll be able to show that in another video. Now, this is going to be kind of short, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you, and you're going to watch another something appear right here, and we'll blow this up too. Because basically all we're going to get is a few hours, and I'll be able to see. Now, what I'm doing is going forward, and we get, I guess, basically they loaded up 10 hours, 12 hours, 13 hours. So we get 13 hours of play, and you're going to get all this. Now remember, this is in different spots, okay? And we're hoping that this is a CME reactive flare, okay? Now as that goes back, it somewhat gives the image of there being three things happening. Maybe there is. But right now you can see that, and basically I can blow up on that real fast so you get a good of what the heck is in the corner there. You see, that's what's in the corner. And check the darkness out, okay? And then we have this. Is this this comet, or what the heck is this? Is keeping this circularly lit up, electrical, static. It's like a perfect ring out there. And this has happened since that comet came around. Now, remember before, we thought it was the comet going up. Now, did it, tr is it doing... Now, remember, these satellites can see a vast distance, many millions of miles, billions of miles possibly. Now, are we finally getting a good example of that, that this comet comes in, and is it going to head back out here and straighten up, and it's taken this long? And we're only going to know through the few days of seeing what's going on here. But this is dramatic, and then the meatball down here also, as you can see the meatball here. Now, you're also going to see some stars illuminate, like over here a little bit, on this and meatball or whatever it is because what I'm sticking with is I, this is some kind of energy wave that's coming in from out out but it's starting to match up a looking a little bit like the meatballs I'm gonna pop down in size because you'll see some other features come in here that match what we have for footage of the meatball and I'll be able to show you old archive footage of the meatball and so this is some very wild action we're getting here I'm gonna pump it to just a hundred just a regular hundred screen and then we'll see this stuff basically what you've already seen and as you see we got a lot of energy coming across you know anybody's worked around stored energy and pneumatics and electric you know been an electrician and stuff and then there's like a wild roundness of ring action going on up in here too so let's zoom in on that real fast on that feature so scooting up and looking in the left hand corner to see this crazy action right here Oh, wow, look at they pixeled out a bunch of stuff. So there is some wild stuff going on up in here. You see how they got stuff pixeled out? There's the pixels, folks. You see how they're, they got stuff, they're blocking stuff out. So we got something dramatically new happening up here in the left corner. And I'm going to be able to show you, too, from another shot from Stereo A. When I get time tomorrow, I found some other stuff, too, that I'm going to be able to show you. And that's what I was wondering, because you see how you see watch this in the future you see how you can should be able to see here now the other one they block stuff from us being able to see stuff out there in space on the other on the sechi and i'm not going to say which number it is i'm going to show it to you in the future but check this ring out see this perfectly circular ring that this comet is somehow turned into or whatever the hell's going on up there and see they're blocking stuff out here on this so i ain't holding nothing back if we get footage from sechi you get to see it but check this out see so they pixeled. You can see the pixels here, okay? So 
this short amount of footage here is in eight, what did I say, 13 hours or something like that? So I'm just making this video real fast and then get hit in the sack here. So, but this is some pretty astounding stuff. And then see, check that out. You see, and then I'll pop back up and see how much they're blacking out on this. See if we got anything up in the left-hand corner there in the darkness of space. And then you get that. So as I flip through this, basically, I mean, it's almost like, I mean, this here is like a sun because this is not coming from our sun. Our sun's over to the right. So as you see, we're getting some hella dramatic flashes from out there. Maybe we've got an asteroid belt or something, and then you check that out. You see, you can see this stuff here. But then, this is possibly just darkness over here. But then, then again, it could be, you know, we did see some pixels earlier. You know, that they pixeled frames out there. So, you're getting that there. And then maybe they're still working on it, trying to figure it out too when they're doing the... Hang on, let me... So back at 100 and we'll keep playing through this. And then we get this here. So then we'll pop up. Again, we'll hit 400. Get in there and take a good look at this. So, remember, this is massive distance. Earth is safe. Earth's way over to the right in front of the sun, okay? So, these are all at angles. Even no matter how huge this is, this would almost pass in front of the sun on that side, on that right side of the sun up by the... Check that action out there, too. So, who knows? Comet flashing through, it looks like. Maybe this is the finished portion of this coming around and doing a U-turn, but it's sure banging into something up there and we're making... It's making planets up there do CME reactive flares. Now remember, though, this could be a bunch of action from Saturn, like I said, because Saturn's in line with Venus, okay? So relax on that, and then is this some kind of wild action from the rings of Venus or something like that that we're getting the reaction from that comet? That's my first, would be anybody's intelligent first and it's okay to go stepping through this, but anybody's intelligent conclusion to be thinking that it's got to be something to do because Saturn is in line with Venus right now, okay? And then keep an eye on the meatball here, and then I'm going to zoom in on that because basically you can see that that probably is Venus right there doing that, okay? Let me save some tape time. So I would say that that's Venus doing that reaction there. Wow, check that orangeness out that shows up in here. And real bright. So I'm wondering if some material is hitting, and that would be a very quick conclusion right here because the idea there's got to be some material hitting Venus now besides just electrical because that's the first time I've ever seen. Now, you see that orangish color, yeah, when something lights up when it was doing it, but uh, to have that kind of color show up in this red background that they fill in and everything like that, and then there's our, you know, either an energy wave or the meatball, and like I say, you'll end up seeing some stars cluster along there along the edge of that energy, whatever the heck's out there. So, let's get, I'm going gonna, gonna to save some time and zoom in on that. Yeah, that's Venus or something, and then there's something doing something way that, as you can see, that, that there's like stars here and stuff like that. So, this is very impressive. This is wilder than hell. Could that just possibly be Venus right there? Electrical energy or something. These are stars, and this is blown up at 9, 9.99. So there's something wild going on up there in space right now. Check that out. Something with Venus and Saturn and all a bunch of electrical energy up there to the left. And then a comet, that comet coming in. Because remember, this is only the 13th. Remember, we knew that we were going to still keep seeing it, and it looked like it just all of a sudden shot into something. And it's doing its turn in the Van Allen belts up there. Remember, I won't be able to point where the crap, but I might be able to, to move the arm on the, the little brown this on the handle around so we're zipped in real good on this now what the heck is that actually Venus there then or something gas cloud something pretty roundish and then a lot of that there too so definitely mother nature or space let, lighten it up to let us see some darkness in the space of outer space out there and you can see the color deflection. So there's definitely something. Those are stars, and then the red background, and the darkness is the, the blackness of space way the heck back. 
and a bunch of stuff gets illuminated there electrically check that out those are all stars wowzer this is like a 15 minute video it's just probably going to be a 15 minute video on this but there's so much stuff here just just brand new discovery this is just wild so I pretty much got the whole color spectrum up there because over, over there that's just that so there's stars doing all kinds of electrical wham wham whammy up there in the corner from this comet coming around let's get down real fast and get some more of this footage back down here bam so you know that I'm always never screwing with you. There you go. This is all this stuff up there. So we zoomed in on that. We'll get the magnifier the heck out of the way. And then we'll step. And we'll try to do this thing faster. So. And there you go. So we have a lot of explosions going on up there. It's more, way more. This looks like four now. When I keep on ticking through there, there's one. And there's two there to the left. And there's one above. And then there's a comet coming in. And then that spectacular circle of electrical magnetical that's been laid in there. And who knows, is that three? So we're having electrical explosions up there. And you can see the meatball down there. And then you see all this. Check this star action out there. Let's zoom in on that. So if you want to call this an energy wave or electrical, and it's right along here and you can't miss it, and it's basically either the meatball and definitely electrically illuminating or running into some stars. Either that or it's just an energy wave. And if you look at it from a ways back, it kind of looks what we know to be the meatball because another area starts showing in here so you get to see that pretty good and let's blow up a little bit more on this we'll get up to 999 on this real fast to be able to give it a good idea what those stars are looking like there you go so it pretty much looks like some kind of electrical or something's phasing these stars and then making them hit that coloring like that are they No matter what, we got some kind of a, you know, force field or electrical or, I don't like work, even though they use the word plasma for our atmosphere and stuff like that, I don't like using that word. So, I'm going to come up with some kind of word with whatever the heck this is. If it's not the meatball, it's some kind of big energy wave and it's huge. Remember, we're going to, I'm going to pop down here and remember the sun is to the, to the flipping right okay so you realize how huge this is and there's the sun doing a CME action up here how huge the sun is see that and then realize how huge this is because we're just getting a quarter portion of it there in there so this is wild stuff going on this is just earth shattering stuff at, up in space we've never seen stuff like this before I haven't so all this is happening and then you can zoom in on this and watch this full full screen there's going to be way more in one video on this. This is just wild stuff. So, let me hit play and I'll hit... And remember, it's an hour at a time, so really hitting play is kind of... And basically, that's what I've been doing. I've been trying to hit play and it wouldn't really do it. So, I've been doing it like this to get it to play. At least you're not hearing that clicking that I normally do when I have my other sound system going so anyway hopefully my sound goes through okay and hopefully you get all this and I'll load this up tonight and it sure looks like some sort of an energy wave down there and if not it's bashing into some stars as you see that lower right hand and there's a little bit of a silhouette that comes up over above, above this well here's the silhouette that's there as you see that silhouette right there I froze in and blew in on it at 400 okay so Blue in it at 777. And see that little silhouette over top of that? So it's some kind of energy wave. Sure looks like it. Either that or there's maybe more than one hugeness. So I'll step back and forward real fast. You see what I'm talking about? See? It 
Sí, so, 